and thank you for joining us today. This workout is called Flexibility and Fluidity. So we are all about opening up our sacral chakra. Let's begin by anchoring the heels down into the ground and holding on to the back of the thighs so that we're sitting up nice and tall on the sits bones. Take a full breath in through your nose and rolling the pelvis under like a wheel, exhaling all of the air out of your lungs. Inhale, restack. Exhale, roll under. Your sacral chakra is located in your lower abdomen area and it gets blocked by guilt. Relax your shoulders down your back, restack your spine. So we're going to let go of any guilt we have associated with our fitness routines. Roll under like a wheel, blow all the air out. Slide your hands up a little bit higher on your thighs. Roll your tailbone under a little bit more and hold. And just do a little body scan here. Notice if your body likes to hold on to any tension anywhere. Relax your shoulders, your jaw, your throat. Roll under just a little bit more, connecting your bottom ribs to the ground and coming all the way down. Opening up your chest. Walk your feet in a little bit more so they're about hip width apart. Your back is all splayed out, arms by your sides. Pelvic tilt and lower. Tilt and lower. So your sacral chakra is associated with the color orange. So I want you to close your eyes. Inhale as much as you can. Filling your body with a bright orange light. Two more, and one. Hold the pelvis flat, breathe in, reach your hands up to the sky, and let's connect with our neutral pelvis position. So as you reach your arms long by your sides, you're lifted up in a C curve, but your pelvis stays flat. So you could have a little hot bowl of soup on your lower belly and it will not spill. Tailbone heavy, inhale, lower yourself back down. Exhale, peel up. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Find your flow, no beginning or end. Our sacral chakra gets blocked by guilt and it prohibits us from connecting to our creativity, our inner passion. So let's open it up, heavy tailbone, reach towards your feet. Let's set an intention today. Find our passion. Fulfill our passion. Four, three, two, and one. Relax down. Take the arms reaching all the way overhead, opening up your chest, palms up towards the sky, and slowly lift to a full bridge. Opening the front of your body to the sky. Belly button is drawn in. And we're now shortening the space here between the ribs and the hips. Slowly roll yourself down one little vertebra at a time. All right, your spine should feel better already. Take your legs up to tabletop. I like to do toes together, knees about hip width apart so we can really stabilize the pelvis area. Hands here on your thighs, take a full breath in. On your exhale, use opposition, press. Press your legs into your hands and your hands into your legs. And as you do that, you exhale all the air out and you feel those deep, deep powerhouse muscles engage. Relax. Take another breath. Do that again, use opposition, press. Now you can stay here or on your next level up, you would come up to the very tips of your shoulder blades. Relaxing your jaw, your throat, your chest, and relax. One more time, full breath in. Blow all the air out. And relax, hug your knees in. Rock your hips a little bit side to side. And let's take this to some pelvic lifts. Arm, arms long by your sides, reverse curl and tap down. Curl up and tap down. This engages the transverse abdominus muscle. The deep lower core muscle it tends to be really weak only because we become disconnected to it. So, an option would be to tuck your hands under your hips. If you're just starting out, this might feel more comfortable for you. 
But don't try too hard. You feel this one more than you see it. Let's do four more here for four and three, two, and one. Stretch all the way up to straight legs. This time, let's flex the feet, pressing the heels down, breathe in, reach your arms up. And on your exhale, roll yourself up to seated. Now, if this doesn't feel good in your body, roll all the way up that way. You'll hug your knees in and roll up this way. Okay, so get comfortable with that first. Otherwise, our smooth transition is here. And restack the spine. All right, coming on up to your hands and knees, please. Flat back, hands under shoulders, knees under hips, taking a deep inhale, round your spine. Drawing your belly button in and flattening all the way out. Take a deep breath in, basking in your sacral glow, exhaling all the air out, lifting the tips of your shoulder blades to the sky, and flatten all the way out. So, the sacral chakra located in the lower abdomen, hip area, we tend to store a lot of tension in our hips. So let's come into a nice stretch, warm up, just to get things loosened up. So, rolling toe ball, heel, heel ball toe, Three, two, one, both heels pressing down. Pressing your shoulders down your back, extend the right leg up to the sky. Opening up the hip and pulse it, pulse it. Lift your toes up to the sky. Eight, seven, six, keeping your weight even through both arms. Three, two, hold. Lift your tippy tippy toes on the left side and let's take that leg through to what we call pigeon. Now, if this doesn't feel good in your body, there are options. You can bend that back knee a lot. You can even take your front foot out further and just keep squaring up. So that means both hip bones are turned forward and together so the left hip doesn't rotate out. Feel free to move around here. And ideally, when you're ready, you can extend that back leg back all the way fully rotated and melting into the hips, opening up the chest, opening up your heart, taking a deep breath in, and walk your hands out. Nurturing the emotional center of your body by releasing your hips. Walking your hands back in, Pressing back to your downward facing dog and walk the dog. Roll through your feet. So a warm up is active. It's movement. It helps to loosen up the joints. Whereas a stretch is more of an isolation. A stretch in itself is a workout. Let's extend the left leg up, opening up the hip. Warm it up by pulsing. Lift, getting deeper into the muscle fibers of your glutes. Seven, six, shoulders down your back. Four, three, two, hold it, tippy tippy toes, and take it through to pigeon. Opening up your chest, starting with your foot in more, and your back knee bent, and then as it feels good in your body to deepen the stretch, you lengthen the leg, you take your foot out, you square your hips. Open up your heart. Take full breath, walk the hands out again. If that feels good, relax your shoulders. Do a little body scan and just notice if anything's feeling tight. We are releasing it. Improving our flexibility through stretching and mobility. So let's step back to downward facing dog, walk the dog, roll through the feet for four and three, filling your lungs with air, two and one, both heels pressing down. Let's come forward to a plank, strong abs, and alternate, take your knee in, knee in, knee in. Resisting in the core, for four and three. Hold, extend your hips up and have a seat. All right, so loosening up through the hips, let's come down 
onto the forearm, bend your knees a lot, hand behind your head, open up your chest for a little clamshell. Keeping the feet together, just lift your knee, external rotation of the hip, ab drawn in. Now you can stay here or you lift the hip up, down. Another option would be hand here. It's important that you always honor your body, and maintain alignment and form. Last four, and three. Hold this one down, stretch the top leg out long in front. So we take it forward, back, forward, back. Reaching the leg out of the hip. Holding it in front. Strong center, open the chest. Turn your knee up towards the sky a little bit more so your leg is screwed into the hip joint and pulse it here. Feeling it in your lower core. Filling, filling your lungs with air every time and completely exhaling it every time. Hold, take the leg back. As you do that, you're opening, you're stretching through here, and you're not doing this. We don't collapse forward, we stay tall and lifted. Point and pulse back. Really squeeze your seat. Seven, six, three, and one. Take it down. Come all the way down with your hand behind your head. Stretch your legs out. Take your feet out at a slight angle. Flex your bottom foot, stretch your top leg out long. And let's kick it up and down. Lift, lower. Here is okay too, if you're feeling any pain in your shoulder. Otherwise, we're here, pressing the head into the hand. Two more. Stretch it longer than the bottom leg, hold it down. Really reach, creating more space in your low back. Circles, kiss the bottom ankle. Eight, seven, six, five. Stirring your femur bone in your hip joint. Three, two, and reverse. and two and hold it. All right, bringing yourself up, taking your legs over to the other side and let's begin with the clamshell here. So get into beautiful alignment, all about your skeletal system, your elbows right under your shoulder, knees are bent, hand behind your head, lift and lower that knee. So good for the SI joints and back. So things to think about, of course, it's always about the form and alignment. Make sure you're not rocking the hip back. Your shoulders stay still. You're pressing your head into your hands. Maybe lift the hip now. Down, lift. Resisting here every time. Making sure that you're not just loading up the shoulder, always doing body scans, keeping the work in your core. And hold it down. Stretch your top leg long. Screw the leg into the hip. Kick forward, back. Forward, back. It requires so much stability and control so you can find your flow and full range of motion, improving the flexibility in all of your muscles. Two, and one, hold it forward. Screw the leg into the hip more. Pulse it here, abs drawn in. Six and five, come forward. Three, now take the leg back. Keep pressing your head into your hand. Pulse it here, open your hip. Reach the leg out of the hip. more, two more, and one. Coming all the way down onto the forearm here. Hand can be here, 
or here, feet at a slight angle, flex your bottom foot, top leg, just lift it up and reach it longer than your bottom leg. Find your length from your low back, create more space in your hips. Hold this one down, little circles. Abs pulled in, stretch the leg long, kiss your bottom ankle. Six, five. Go the other way. And hold it. All righty. Coming back up to your hands and knees with a cat stretch, flat back, look forward. Round your back as much as you can. Inhale, flat. And round again. Downward facing dog. Press your hips up towards the sky. Come forward to plank. Okay, so still focusing in on our lower abdomen area. It's the focus of today's workout. So let's come into a side plank. Reach your top arm. You can bring your knee down or your top leg is over the bottom leg. Arms are stacked. Lift the hip a little bit more if that feels good for you. Take it back to your plank. And remember, your body will compensate until you build up the endurance and strength. So if you find yourself, turn the other way, if you find yourself shifting into your shoulders too much, take it down a notch. Always bring the knee down. You can bring your elbow down. Lift the hip up high. Reach overhead. Back to your plank. And let's have a seat. Alrighty, so setting up for a little boat pose, which we call it yoga, or same shape and space would be a teaser in Pilates. So let's begin with the legs up here, holding onto the back of the thighs, opening up the chest. Now what we don't want is this, where you're arching your back, pushing out your ribs, and pressing your tailbone back. Instead, roll the tailbone under, open up your chest, scoop the abs in, and hold there instead. Now you can stay here, or extend the legs out long if you've got that availability in your hamstrings. You can let go, reach your arms out, reach towards your toes, and let's roll all the way down one bone at a time, extending the legs up. Feel free to bend the knees a bit, or you're extended as you draw a circle in one direction. Keeping the heels glued. Go the other way. Hold in the center, hugging both knees in. Placing your feet down flat, arms long by your sides from the beginning, pelvic lift and lower. Lift, lower, unlock your pelvis. Relaxing everything, relax your feet, even relax your glutes right now and just connect your mind to your body, your brain to your lower core. Think of your pelvis like the mothership of your body where everything initiates. Three, all movement initiates here. If there's any alignment issue, it can throw off our kinetic chain. Three, two, hold it and peel all the way up to a full bridge. Opening up the front of your body, opening up your hip bones to the sky. Slowly roll yourself down, one little vertebra at a time. Tailbone comes down absolutely last. Another full breath in through your nose and a slow, full exhale as you lift to your bridge. Without letting the hips drop, bring the right knee up. 
place it down. Shift your weight into your right seat. Left leg up. And down. Now keep this going with flow. Keeping the hips still. Strong core. Challenging. All those little spinal erector muscles. Don't let your hips sag. Lift up. Three, two, and one. And roll down. One bone at a time. Tailbone comes down. Knees back in. Reverse curl. Peel up. Curl up. Add a stretch. Curl. Lengthen. Curl. Lengthen. Keep that going. Four, eight, seven. Reach your legs out. Three, two, hold it in. And give them a hug. All right, we deserve a little spine twist. Arms out to the sides, you're doing great. Thumbs down. Drop the knees to the right, look to your left. Taking a deep inhale. Other side. Find your passion, your creativity through movement. Relax your shoulders. Knees in. Roll up. Hands, knees. Roll the pelvis under. Flatten it out. Open the knees a little bit wider than hip width apart. Unhook your toes. Let's take the hips over to the right. And lift. Now to the left. And lift. Keep alternating. Right. Shifting your body forward in the center. Switch. And hold. Curl your toes under, downward facing dog. Let's extend the right leg up, point and pulse it. Lift, lift, open that hip. Crown to the ground, toes to the sky. Hold it, tippy tippy toes, come through to your pigeon. Open up your chest, choose your level. Full inhale. Radiate vibrant energy coming from your sacral chakra. Walking your hands out, all the way out. Walking your hands back in under your shoulders, step back to downward facing dog, and extend your left leg up. Point your toes, pulse it up, lift, lift. Again, crown to the ground, toes to the sky. Draw the inner thighs towards one another magnetically as you do this. They're active. Hold. And come through. Square up your hips. Open up your chest. Fill your body with warm, glowing energy. Walk your hands out. Right back in. And press your hips up. Go forward to a plank and down into a hover on your forearms. This is all about nurturing our own well being so we can take care of others. Roll forward and back. When you connect to your sensual energy, you ignite your inner passion. You find your freedom. You reach your goals. You live the lifestyle you want to live. Two and one. Bring your knees down. And let's just sit back on the heels. Creating more space by opening up your knees so you can bring your chest all the way down to the ground. Let's do palm on palm underneath your forehead. Take a full breath in. 
feeling gratitude for all the wonderful things your body can do for you. Coming up onto your toes. Lifting up your hips. Shake your head no. Shake your head yes. Bend your knees a lot. Inhale, reach your arms up as you fill your body with warm, glowing energy. Exhaling all the air out as you bring your hands down to your heart center. One more full breath in through your nose. And exhale it all out. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste.